in 1933, FDR rolls out the New Deal, a series of anti-poverty programs to fight the Great Depression. The First Lady is deeply involved. This was a woman who understood what the nation needed, in many ways was as important to the era as her husband was, because she was out there with the people more than he was. The reporter, Lorena Hickok, writes to her about a deprived coal mining area in West Virginia called Scott's Run. Eleanor goes to visit and is shocked by what she sees. As part of the New Deal, $25 million is allocated toward new housing projects for the poor. Eleanor champions the first of these communities for the people of Scott's Run. It's called Arthurdale. She, she took such interest in it that she had all the facades torn off of the houses. She picked the linoleum for the kitchen floors, the curtains for the windows. So it was a very maternalistic uh, approach to things, and that's the way she was. I was eight years old when we came to Arthurdale, and we had a bathroom, and we had running water, and all those, and a refrigerator and a washer. Quite an exciting time. Alice Whitaker vividly remembers the First Lady meeting her father. He said, oh, deed, Mrs. Roosevelt, I can't shake hands with you. My hands are all dirty. And she just grabbed his hand, and she said, you're the kind of a man I like to shake hands with. She said, you're a working American. I like to shake hands with people like you. Despite her privileged background, Eleanor connects with the poor and dispossessed. She visits Arthurdale many times, captured here on film taking part in a square dance. 